Welcome to the Metals Investment Forum. Well, I have here Rainer Gold, CEO, Michael Wood. Welcome, Michael. Thanks, John. So you just had some very interesting drilling results last week. Can you tell us about that? Yes, certainly. Um, we got uh, two really uh, standout holes. Uh, we got a 59 meter intercept of 1.45 grams per ton gold, virtually from surface. And we also got a very high grade uh, silver intercept of 5.5 meters of 935 grams, again, virtually from surface, 1.5 meters from surface. So we get delighted with the progress the team is making on the property uh, as shown by these results. And definitely we're gonna focus in around these uh, two holes. Uh, we have a structural geologist on site right now from the area, uh, Sonoran-based structural geologist doing a comprehensive structural geology report. And then we'll, we'll do more drilling around these two, two standard holes, uh, probably starting around the end of September. Oh, excellent. How far are those two drill holes apart? They're about 6.3 kilometers apart. So we've worked on a trend of uh, 6.3 kilometers. That the silver's actually right down at the southern part. And then the, the gold is the most northerly part of the majority of the property today. And uh, we believe this is one orogenic gold system uh, stretching across this trend. And we, we believe it potentially goes uh, further. This is just where we work today. But what we're also finding is on the orogenic gold system, we're also finding intrusive related memorization as well. So overprinting of the intrusive related that happened, we believe, uh, after the orogenic uh, memorization was formed. So definitely multiple phases of memorization, which is a great, great, you know, great sign and a great uh, thing to have on the property. Good indication, you know, we've got a lot of memorization. And we're not just finding gold and silver, we're also finding copper in, in the in the silver intercept. It was also, uh, we, we had a one meter, one meter of super high uh, uh, resort of um, 4.6 kilos, so 4,640 grams per ton of silver, which included uh, virtually 1% of copper as well, and some and some lead and zinc as well. So we, we know that uh, you know we've got a strong mineral system here, probably a long a long lived uh, mineral system here, and uh, what we're looking to do at first is uh, just build up mineralization across the surface. You know we're in the Sonoran Desert. All the mines around us are oxide, heat bleach mines, and we expect ours would be the same. You know, we haven't done any mine work yet; we're just starting out. But we want to get bulk mineralization close to surface, and then you know, if you if you get some a lot of kind of bulk mineralization close to surface, you just scoop it out, you put it on a leach pad. Very simple, very simple mining, very low cost mining. That's what we're aiming to do initially. But then you know, maybe you know, we'll drill a lot deeper as time goes on, and we might find some very interesting results. Uh, yeah, deeper, even, deeper. Even higher grade. Yeah. That's excellent. Yeah. So you found it just one meter below the surface. Yeah. So yeah. how did you select those targets? Yeah, a lot of it is done with uh, field work. You know, we have a really good geological team. And, you know, it's very similar to the to the Carlin. The Carlin uh, deposits, you know, we're, we're looking at disseminated gold systems here in Sonora. And the way a lot of the, the discoveries are made is, you know, field observation, mapping, sampling, finding veins at surface, finding if they're memorized, if they're memorizing, if they're memorized veins, then, you know, start to drill into those and see what you find. And what you find is the veins are stacked. So you have one vein, uh, but then, you know, have multiple veins around it. So the 59 meter hole uh, had four main veins in it, all around three meters of width, uh, grading kind of four to six grams. So, you know, substantial structures and they're, they're, they're parallel veins running, uh, running and we'll definitely go back and these veins again and we should get good extensions around that that 60 meter hole oh, that's excellent yeah just to remind us what kind of grade are those mines uh deep leach mines in nearby yeah what, what what will make a mine yeah yeah so you don't need high grade in this part of the world it's very low cost la Herradura, the biggest gold mine in mexico operates at a grade of about 0.6 0.7 uh, and they constantly i mean obviously costs have gone up this year but prior to this year they constantly were operating sub 1000 uh, all in cost Cash cost substantially low. Cash cost, I think, six, seven hundred. Um, uh, they operate on a cutoff in the region. They have multiple cutoffs. It's a, it's a monster deposit, um, and they uh, they operate on a cutoff of around 0 0.1, 0 0.2, depending where they're operating. Al Chinade, which is the closest to to our property, was mined out by Alamos Gold in 2020. The average grade was uh, 0.55. Their cutoff was 0 0.11. So in this part of the world, we, you know, we we also found a number of intercepts, kind of 20, 30 meters of continuation of kind of 0 0.2, 0 0.3 grade. Now that's economic material in the snow and desert. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, excellent. excellent. Yeah. yeah, can you tell us uh, the team helped you to find those uh, great things to be great uh, drill hole? Yeah, no, I mean, we're very fortunate. We've got some great geologists uh, working uh, in, in, in the planning and the, the execution of what we're doing. So Dr. Peter McGall, uh, who we work with on Rainer Silver, really gave us the idea to do Rainer Gold and explained to Hawaii and myself the potential of Northwestern Mexico for gold exploration. 
Uh, and then we also got Doug Kerwin involved, who also helps us on on Rena Gold, Rena Silver, sorry, and, and Cassia Gold. Um, you know, two great geologists. And then recently, we've also just um, uh, got a, a third really great advisor involved in the company, Dr. Tony Longo, who worked for Newmont Mining for a while, made the discovery of La India in uh, across on the same magic gold and silver belt. Uh, and he was Ariel's boss actually at Newmont, and we approached him and. He's had a look at the property, liked it. So great to get Tony's brain power also involved in the planning and execution of the exploration. And then on the ground, we have you know great local Mexican geologists. All, all our geologists are from Sonora. All of them are used to these kind of deposits. They've all worked for the majors. And you can see from the results we're getting, you know, there's good execution taking place uh, on the ground. Well, excellent. I mean, I, I heard you by using the local people, you're running very high ship. Right. So how, how much can you tell us how much cash you have and versus your current market cap? Yeah, so we have $7 million of cash as of the end of August. And uh, our market cap, I think, is $10.6 million Canadian as of close of play on, on Friday. So we're not trading too much above cash or definitely a good entry point for new investors, particularly now on the back of these uh, substantial drill results. And I think the plan now is um, get more drill results out before the year. And I think realistically... Hopefully, kind of November time, we can get out a new batch of results, follow on holes around these good results, and then hopefully, you know, we'll have a substantial re rating in our share price by then. Well, excellent, excellent. So, what's your burn rate? Uh, with 7 million in the bank, how long can you run with, with this existing cash? Yeah, so w- when we've been drilling, our burn rate is about half a million Canadian dollars a month. Now we're not drilling uh, for, we didn't, we, we basically stopped drilling the end of July. So, we haven't drilled in August, we won't drill for most of September. So, uh, it'll be substantially less than that probably in the region of, uh, uh, well, I think about 150 without the drilling. So um, yeah, we're, we're in a good cash position, um, but definitely want to make the most of that cash. Oh, excellent, excellent. Okay, tell us the, the potential, this regional potential. You, you have a very large land package. So what's your goal from this uh, drilling campaign? Yeah, uh, this initial drilling, we want to show that we had mineralization in multiple parts of the property. We've got, our property is 24,000 hectares. We've honed in on an area a stretch of 6.3 kilometers where we drilled five targets across that stretch so far. I hit memorization in all the targets, uh, but particularly La Republicana, we're quite excited about. This is the, the most northerly part of that stretch. We're finding a favorable volcanic construct. It's, it's meta, meta rhyolite and meta andesite. And we've mapped now an area of five square kilometers around the initial drilling. And we're also finding the same host rock in the other parts of the property, up to 6.5 kilometers west, three kilometers north, three kilometers south, basically. So we're building up quite a big footprint of this favorable host rock. Uh, and once the structural geology report is back, we'll go and I think we'll do quite a bit of drilling into La Republicana itself and potentially drill some of these other targets around it. And then hopefully we, we can sort of build up quite a substantial deposit quite quickly in that part of the property. But having said all that, you know, even down in the main zone, it's interesting. The team has now found a, a very similar what, what we believe could be an extension to the main zone area west, we're calling it La Camaritas. Uh, we're, they're preparing that for drilling. We get some, we're getting a lot of structures at surface, which we believe is memorized. We're just doing the sampling. And then even further south, southeast on the trend, uh, we really want to get to uh, San Pedro, La Quintas, La Quintas West. This is where actually most of the historic production came from on the property. We got some good sampling back there. The MAG survey gave a lot of uh, big high, big low there. So good indication, you know, some good memorization down there. So we, we definitely want to get down there as well. So a lot of targets, and uh, but, you know, we, I think we'll latch on to this sort of Republicana target for now uh, and, and see what we can get with a follow-up drilling there. If we, if we get good results, I think, you know, that'll, that'll move the company forward quite a bit. Oh, excellent. Congratulations for yeah. the excellent results. Hopefully next time we go separate, celebrate for the discovery. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Jen.